When I was 14 years old, I logged into Wiz and made a new character and decided to come up with a dope new name. And you know what I came up with? I came up with Dustin Boom Pants. Some might argue that I made a mistake naming myself that, and now I'm stuck with that decision. Until now. Wish 101 just added a new feature called Name Change in Test Realm, and honestly, it has created more chaos than I've seen in so long. And honestly, it's extremely worth making a video on, because what started off as something that was very, very harmless, and honestly a good thing for the game, it descended into absolute chaos. So let's talk about what happened, what Kingsile has done about it, and exactly my thoughts on the whole thing. Now, I'm in Live Realm right now, but let's say that you were to go into the Magic Mirror shop, right, in the shopping district in Test Realm, what you would notice is, along with the ability to change your looks, you, could, you would also have the, the option to change your name or gender. And that's really cool, right? In the update notes, Wizard 101 just basically talked about how, you know, this is like a way to make you feel more comfortable, you know, about your name, what, what you're called, your identity on Wizard 101. These are all great things, but they also took the opportunity to add had a lot of new options for names and people started getting very very creative it started off harmless you know with, with, with new names like bow ring and one of my personal favorites olive garden but as with any feature that allows the user some creative freedom you know people started making some sus ones like ocean titan disaster oh no it gets it's getting dark and i think it was in my opinion after someone realized that they could name themselves ocean titan disaster that it really started getting bad. I feel like that one was the one where, you know, people were like, okay, a little weird, but not that bad. And then it got bad. Like, we talking like, I think some people had the last name Headgiver, which is kind of nuts. And then there were some tasteless ones like Flint Water Disaster, which is a reference to the, you know, the water crisis that happened in 2014 in Flint, Michigan. I think Piper Shatterpants might have been the best one. I think this one... This one was great. I think this one, honestly, I think this one should have stayed been allowed. I don't know. It's just my opinion. But obviously, every time someone tries to push a comedic boundary, there will always be people that are just not chill about it. And that's, I think, when it started getting really, really bad. People were, like, trying to, like, you know, make, like, you know, alternative spellings of words that you would never really be able to say. Like, things that are, you know, fairly offensive to certain people. And here's the thing. Obviously, at the end of the day, these are just names on Wiz. I think people were just joking around. I don't think the intent of anyone was to spread hate. But it's still very squarely on Wizard 101 to do something about it, right? You can't add a new feature that, that, that was this widely wanted. Like, everybody wanted this. But then, you know, have all these ways to make names that you would never be able to say in Wiz, right? Like, all kinds of bad stuff. So in response, they actually ended up patching a bunch of different names out so that you couldn't make as many bad combinations. All in all, I gotta give it to King's Isle. This was probably one of the fastest response times and most involved responses that I've seen from them in a really, really long time. I think they fully anticipated and knew that this was going to happen. And I think because they weren't expecting it not to happen, they had planned a patch to get rid of any problematic names. Here's a list of all the names that got changed. And you know, I'm not telling you to use your imagination, but you know, you could probably guess why maybe some of them were not the best to have in the name change system because you could use those as parts of harmful words or maybe hate speech, who knows. Their response time was fast. It took uh, less than two days for most of the harmful names to be basically just taken out. And I'm sure there's some that are still, you know, haven't been addressed right? And maybe some will even make it to live ROM when the name change system happens. Maybe someone will have a combination ready that says something awful. But clearly what, what, what their actions show, King's Isle anyways, is that, you know, they're taking it as a priority to make it so that they have more names that you do feel like you're more represented, more included. But at the same time, they understand the risks associated with it and are prepared for them. When I first heard of name change, I was honestly a little bit like, I don't know, maybe this is just an unpopular opinion, but I was actually a little nervous about it. A few of my thoughts were like, obviously, Obviously, this is a feature that people have been wanting for years. What if they make it too expensive to the point where people are like, yeah, I'm not going to pay for that. They didn't go that route. It's a small, small price of 100 crowns, and it's just a one-time thing. Anyone can do it. You can do trivia on their website just to earn those crowns for free if you wanted. I thought, like, what if someone, you know, wanted to harass another, like, you know, maybe a content creator or maybe just another player? I don't know. What if they wanted to do that? Could they just keep changing their name and keep on, you know, being crazy? That's, once again, not something that, you know, I don't think people need to work about that because it's only a one-time thing and there's a way to find what your initial name was so if someone is acting a little sus around you and you see their name you can actually check if they changed it and see if you recognize the name so you know whether you know should you block them should you ignore them should you like i don't know what do whatever right and 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 at the top of my concerns you know was yo what if people make names that are like literally like harmful right nobody wants to log on to a whole ass virtual universe and get confronted with like a slur in the form of a wizard name right nobody wants 
on set. But not only does it seem like Wiz made it very hard to make such names to begin with, meaning they clearly had a screening process for most of these, you know, first name, last names, the way they could be combined. They screened these well before test run, very obviously. Not only did they have a process for that, they had a very obvious process for fixing anything that, you know, went through the cracks. This might not actually seem like a big deal, but I think the big story here is honestly, and maybe maybe you guys can tell me that I'm wrong, but I think that Wizard World of One is investing more and more into the into the way you feel like you can have a virtual identity, and they're even willing to take risks, like having people create names that are just not okay in order to do that. I think we've seen that with Rate My Stitch, right? Making, you know, the way you look a bigger part of a side activity. We've seen the magic mirror change, the first one where it allows you to change your looks, and now the second one that allows you to not only change your name, but your whole gender. And soon, it looks like we're gonna even have a scroll wheel that can customize the colors that we stitch with, even further customizing our appearance and our individuality on Wiz. For them to be, like, literally, like, you know, over a decade old and prioritizing these things now, maybe they're a little late to the game, but maybe th this is just the first time that this has been able to be a priority. And I think they're handling it really, really well, even amidst all of the chaos. I will say this, it is a little disappointing that even nowadays, we still have people that see something like a feature that could be exploited and they use it to literally harm others. That seems to be a really, really unfortunate pattern with so many updates and I still cannot understand why. If something purely benefits you and it's a glitch in the game, I don't really think taking advantage of it is a big deal, but I think the second it starts affecting other people's experience, you should think about why you're doing it and what you're contributing to. For the sake of not spreading, you know, th the actual words that I found honestly kind of annoying, they weren't included in this video, like the really bad ones. But the fact that people saw they, that they could do it, took the opportunity and didn't even, maybe didn't even think twice about it, I think that's really sad. And I hope that there's, I don't know, I, I maybe it's like a gaming thing, like, you know, like, oh, you're anonymous, it's games, they're toxic, oh, let's be racist. I I'm trying to understand what the purpose of people making those names were, but I guess it's good that it might prevent stupider things from happening in live so maybe there is a bright side even 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 with all the degeneracy that happens i do hope that people change how they act in this community given the opportunity to do stuff like that though i'm like kind of dying to know what the what the community thinks about this so let me know what you guys think about the name change feature are you gonna use it i assume a lot of people are and did you share my concerns with this and do you think that wiz and the way they've addressed it so quickly you know maybe you know quells those concerns a little bit i look forward to reading all of y'all's opinions on this in the comments drop a like if you enjoy it. Leave a sub if you're new. And as always, if somebody hasn't told you're awesome today, they doing something wrong. I'll see y'all soon. Stay awesome, y'all. And yeah, y'all. Yeah.